Francium is a chemical element with symbol Fr and atomic number 87. It used to be known as acacesium. It is extremely radioactive. Its most stable isotope, francium-223, originally called actinium K after the natural decay chain it appears in, has a half-life of only 22 minutes. It is the second least electronegative element behind only cesium and is the second rarest naturally occurring element after astatine. The isotopes of francium decay quickly into astatine, radium, and radon. As an alkali metal, it has one valence electron. Bulk francium has never been viewed. Because of the general appearance of the other elements in its periodic table column, it is assumed that francium would appear as a highly reactive metal, if enough could be collected together to be viewed as a bulk solid or liquid. Obtaining such a sample is highly improbable, since the extreme heat of decay the half-life of its longest-lived isotope is only 22 minutes would immediately vaporize any viewable quantity of the element. Francium was discovered by Marguerite Perret in France from which the element takes its name in 1939. It was the last element first discovered in nature, rather than by synthesis. Outside the laboratory, francium is extremely rare, with trace amounts found in uranium and thorium ores, where the isotope francium-223 continually forms and decays. As little as 20 to 30 grams one ounce exists at any given time throughout the Earth's crust, the other isotopes except for francium-221 are entirely synthetic. The largest amount produced in the laboratory was a cluster of more than 300,000 atoms. <laughs> Characteristics Francium is one of the most unstable of the naturally occurring elements. Its longest lived isotope, francium 223, has a half life of only 22 minutes. The only comparable element is astatine, whose most stable natural isotope, astatine 219, the alpha daughter of francium 223, has a half life of 56 seconds, although synthetic astatine 210 is much longer lived with a half life of 8.1 hours. All isotopes of francium decay into astatine, radium, or radon. Francium-223 also has a shorter half-life than the longest-lived isotope of each synthetic element up to and including element 105, dubnium. Francium is an alkali metal whose chemical properties mostly resemble those of cesium. A heavy element with a single valence electron, it has the highest equivalent weight of any element. Liquid francium—if created— should have a surface tension of 0.05092 N per meter at its melting point. Francium's melting point was calculated to be around 27 degrees Celsius 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 300 K. The melting point is uncertain because of the element's extreme rarity and radioactivity. The estimated boiling point of 677 degrees Celsius 1250 degrees Fahrenheit, 950 K is also uncertain. Linus Pauling estimated the electronegativity of francium at 0.7 on the Pauling scale, the same as cesium. The value for cesium has since been refined to 0.79, but there are no experimental data to allow refinement of the value for francium. Francium has a slightly higher ionization energy than cesium, 392.811 kJ per mole as opposed to 375.7041 kJ per mole for cesium, as would be expected from relativistic effects, and this would imply that cesium is the less electronegative of the two. Francium should also have a higher electron affinity than cesium and the Fr- ion should be more polarizable than the Cs- ion. The CSFR molecule is predicted to have francium at the negative end of the dipole, unlike all known heterodiatomic alkali metal molecules. Francium superoxide francium oxide is expected to have a more covalent character than its lighter congeners. This is attributed to the 6p electrons in francium being more involved in the francium oxygen bonding. Francium coprecipitates with several cesium salts, such as cesium perchlorate, which results in small amounts of francium perchlorate. This coprecipitation can be used to isolate francium, by adapting the radiocesium coprecipitation method of Lawrence E. Glendinen and Nelson. It will additionally coprecipitate with many other cesium salts, including the iodate, the picrate, the tartrate also rubidium tartrate, the chloroplatinate, and the silicotungstate. It also coprecipitates with silicotungstic acid, and with perchloric acid, without another alkali metal as a carrier, which provides other methods of separation. 
Nearly all francium salts are water soluble. Topic: <inaudible> Isotopes. There are 34 known isotopes of francium ranging in atomic mass from 199 to 232. Francium has 7 metastable nuclear isomers. Francium-223 and Francium-221 are the only isotopes that occur in nature, though the former is far more common. Francium-223 is the most stable isotope, with a half-life of 21.8 minutes, and it is highly unlikely that an isotope of Francium with a longer half-life will ever be discovered or synthesized. Francium-223 is the fifth product of the actinium decay series as the daughter isotope of actinium-227. Francium-223 then decays into radium-223 by beta decay 1.149 MeV decay energy, with a minor alpha decay path to astatine-219 5.4 MeV decay energy. Francium-221 has a half-life of 4.8 minutes. It is the ninth product of the Neptunium decay series as a daughter isotope of actinium-225. Francium-221 then decays into astatine-217 by alpha decay 6.457 MeV decay energy. The least stable ground state isotope is francium-215, with a half-life of 0.12 microseconds. It undergoes a 9.54 MeV alpha decay to astatine-211. Its metastable isomer, francium-215 m, is less stable still, with a half-life of only 3.5 nanoseconds. Applications Due to its instability and rarity, there are no commercial applications for francium. It has been used for research purposes in the fields of chemistry and of atomic structure. Its use as a potential diagnostic aid for various cancers has also been explored, but this application has been deemed impractical. Francium's ability to be synthesized, trapped, and cooled, along with its relatively simple atomic structure, has made it the subject of specialized spectroscopy experiments. These experiments have led to more specific information regarding energy levels and the coupling constants between subatomic particles. Studies on the light emitted by laser-trapped francium-210 ions have provided accurate data on transitions between atomic energy levels which are fairly similar to those predicted by quantum theory. History As early as 1870, chemists thought that there should be an alkali metal beyond cesium, with an atomic number of 87. It was then referred to by the provisional name acesium. Research teams attempted to locate and isolate this missing element, and at least four false claims were made that the element had been found before an authentic discovery was made. <laughs> Erroneous and incomplete discoveries Soviet chemist D. K. Dobrosardov was the first scientist to claim to have found acesium, or francium. In 1925, he observed weak radioactivity in a sample of potassium, another alkali metal, and incorrectly concluded that acesium was contaminating the sample the radioactivity from the sample was from the naturally occurring potassium radioisotope, potassium-40. He then published a thesis on his predictions of the properties of acesium, in which he named the element russium after his home country. Shortly thereafter, Dobrosardov began to focus on his teaching career at the Polytechnic Institute of Odessa, and he did not pursue the element further. The following year, English chemists Gerald J. F. Druce and Frederick H. Loring analyzed X ray photographs of manganese sulfate. They observed spectral lines which they presumed to be of acesium. They announced their discovery of element 87 and proposed the name alkalinium, as it would be the heaviest alkali metal. In 1930, Fred Allison of the Alabama Polytechnic Institute claimed to have discovered element 87 when analyzing pellucite and lepidolite using his magneto optical machine. Allison requested that it be named Virginium after his home state of Virginia, along with the symbols V and VM. In 1934, H.G. 
McPherson of UC Berkeley disproved the effectiveness of Allison's device and the validity of his discovery. In 1936, Romanian physicist Horia Halube and his French colleague Yvette Cauchua also analyzed pellucite, this time using their high resolution X ray apparatus. They observed several weak emission lines, which they presumed to be those of element 87. Halube and Kashwa reported their discovery and proposed the name Moldavium, along with the symbol ML, after Moldavia, the Romanian province where Halube was born. In 1937, Halube's work was criticized by American physicist F. H. Hirsch, Jr., who rejected Halube's research methods. Hirsch was certain that acesium would not be found in nature, and that Halube had instead observed mercury or bismuth X-ray lines. Halube insisted that his X-ray apparatus and methods were too accurate to make such a mistake. Because of this, Jean-Baptiste Perrin, Nobel Prize winner and Halube's mentor, endorsed Moldavium as the true acesium over Marguerite Perret's recently discovered francium. Perret took pains to be accurate and detailed in her criticism of Halube's work, and finally she was credited as the sole discoverer of element 87. All other previous purported discoveries of element 87 were ruled out due to Francium's very limited half-life. Perret's analysis Acesium was discovered in 1939 by Marguerite Perret of the Curie Institute in Paris, when she purified a sample of actinium-227 which had been reported to have a decay energy of 220 keV. Perret noticed decay particles with an energy level below 80 keV. Perret thought this decay activity might have been caused by a previously unidentified decay product, one which was separated during purification, but emerged again out of the pure actinium-227. Various tests eliminated the possibility of the unknown element being thorium, radium, lead, bismuth, or thallium. The new product exhibited chemical properties of an alkali metal such as coprecipitating with cesium salts, which led Perret to believe that it was element 87, produced by the alpha decay of actinium-227. Perret then attempted to determine the proportion of beta decay to alpha decay in actinium-227. Her first test put the alpha branching at 0.6%, a figure which she later revised to 1%. Perret named the new isotope actinium K, it is now referred to as francium 223, and in 1946, she proposed the name cadmium CM for her newly discovered element, as she believed it to be the most electropositive cation of the elements. Irene Joliot Curie, one of Perret's supervisors, opposed the name due to its connotation of cat rather than cation. Furthermore, the symbol coincided with that which had since been assigned to curium. Perret then suggested francium, after France. This name was officially adopted by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry in 1949, becoming the second element after gallium to be named after France. It was assigned the symbol F.A., but this abbreviation was revised to the current F.R. shortly thereafter. Francium was the last element discovered in nature, rather than synthesized, following hafnium and rhenium. Further research into francium's structure was carried out by, among others, Sylvain Lieberman and his team at CERN in the 1970s and 1980s. Occurrence. 223 Fr is the result of the alpha decay of 227 AC and can be found in trace amounts in uranium minerals. In a given sample of uranium, there is estimated to be only one francium atom for every 1 times 1018 uranium atoms. It is also calculated that there is at most 30 grams of francium in the Earth's crust at any given time. Production. Francium can be synthesized by a fusion reaction when a gold-197 target is bombarded with a beam of oxygen-18 atoms from a linear accelerator in a process originally developed at in the physics department at the State University of New York at Stony Brook in 1995. Depending on the energy of the oxygen beam, the reaction can yield francium isotopes with masses of 209, 210, and 211. 197 O plus 18 O 209 FR plus 6 N 197 O plus 18 O 210 FR plus 5 N 
197 O plus 18 O 211 FR plus 4 NTHE Francium atoms leave the gold target as ions, which are neutralized by collision with yttrium and then isolated in a magneto-optical trap in a gaseous unconsolidated state. Although the atoms only remain in the trap for about 30 seconds before escaping or undergoing nuclear decay, the process supplies a continual stream of fresh atoms. The result is a steady state containing a fairly constant number of atoms for a much longer time. The original apparatus could trap up to a few thousand atoms, while a later improved design could trap over 300,000 at a time. Sensitive measurements of the light emitted and absorbed by the trapped atoms provided the first experimental results on various transitions between atomic energy levels in francium. Initial measurements show very good agreement between experimental values and calculations based on quantum theory. The research project using this production method relocated to TRIUMF in 2012, where over 106 francium atoms have been held at a time, including large amounts of 209 FR in addition to 207 FR and 221 Father Other synthesis methods include bombarding radium with neutrons, and bombarding thorium with protons, deuterons, or helium ions. 223 FR can also be isolated from samples of its parent 227 AC the francium being milked via elution with NH4Cl CrO3 from an actinium containing cation exchanger and purified by passing the solution through a silicon dioxide compound loaded with barium sulfate. In 1996, the Stony Brook group trapped 3,000 atoms in their MO, which was enough for a video camera to capture the light given off by the atoms as they fluoresce. Francium has not been synthesized in amounts large enough to weigh. See also <laughs> <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>